Madden 23 is shaping up to be a way more defensive game where you won't be able to just sit in the pocket, throw wheel routes, and have time to drop way back and hit deep corner routes down the field. So you are going to have to have a scheme to counter these changes and that is where the West Coast offense is going to be a perfect place to start. Now we aren't 100% sure exactly how Madden 23 is going to play, but we have a pretty good idea. So first we know the pass rush is going to be better. We aren't going to have time to let super deep routes develop consistently. So the West Coast offense is the perfect counter for this. We have a quick rhythm pass game to get the ball out of our hands super fast and this is all based around timing our drop back up with our routes to make sure the pass rush doesn't have time to get home. Then we know that they have made deep zones play way better on the back end and they are going to react to deeper plays so much faster. So to counter this the west coast is all about getting the ball underneath to playmakers in space. We will throw to the running back and wide receivers a ton in the open field and let them pick up rack yards. This may it so we don't have to test out those deep zones to move the ball till we play Madden 23 more and get a better idea on how these zones will play. So we need a scheme that is going to allow us to prepare for anything. This is where the West Coast offense absolutely nails it. This is the biggest scheme I made for Madden 22 and I released over 90 plays and broke down over 10 formations. Now if you want to check out the complete playlist for this scheme to see all these different plays and formations I went over, I will leave it down in the description below. Now another thing that makes this West Coast offense so good is you can use a variety of different personnel and body types and player types and they are still going to be effective in this scheme but I do have some recommendations if you do want to use the perfect personnel. At QB the GOAT West Coast quarterback is Joe Montana and he was the perfect player for this spot. He blended pinpoint perfect accuracy with good mobility to get out of the pocket and keep plays alive. Now these are going to be the main things you are going to look for. Accuracy to put the ball wherever you need it, good athleticism to get out of the pocket and make plays with your legs. Then for big arm strength, this is just a bonus for the West Coast quarterback. Then for your wide receivers, the most legendary player ever in this scheme was Jerry Rice. He was the perfect blend of supreme route running and insane hands to make every catch all over the field. And this is really the type of receiver you are going to be after. An all-around receiver who can just do it all, but he doesn't have to be the biggest or the fastest. But if you do have a six foot five big ball winner on the outside or a small shifty fast receiver like Tyree Kill, they are still super viable for the West Coast scheme. Then for your running back spots, we want two different players. First, we want a pass catcher like Roger Craig. He was an absolute freak in this scheme with his ability to catch a ball out of the backfield, and you want someone who can do the same. You're going to be passing to this running back out of the backfield an absolute time, and you need him to have sure hands and the ability to make people miss in the open field. Then at your second running back, you want someone big and physical to run between the tackles and pick up those tough yards. Now, the West Coast offense has been one of the most successful in the history of the NFL, but it has evolved evolved a ton over the years. Now it all started in the 1980s with the legend himself Bill Walsh and the San Francisco 49ers who created this offense around ball control timing and the short pass game to absolutely dominate in the 1980s and win four Super Bowls. Now Walsh's favorite formation were split back looks with two running backs on either side of the QB and he loved to use these players in the passing game. Now we broke down a ton of different near and far formations in this scheme but we are going to focus mostly on far pro in this video. Now the first play we are looking at is Omaha and this was a staple of the West Coast. For this play always have your tight end to the wide side and turn the back side into a slant then take your tight end and put him on a streak. Now the first read on this play is to the out route on the wide side and if they are in single high and off coverage then we just want to throw this out route as he cuts towards the sideline and you're going to pick up really easy yards and this is really really good against cover three. Then if after the snap the cornerback stays on the out route or a receiver goes vertical up the field we want to look inside to the tight end up the seam and if the safety split and it is open you want to just fire it up the seam then if the user leaves the middle of the field to take the seam route then we have the backside slant coming right in behind him to attack the middle of the field and make the user pay if he gets too aggressive next we have Y post and far pro and this will really utilize our running backs in the pass game now once again we have the tight end to the wide side then we want to take the running back who's on the Texas route and motion him to the wide side as well then take the running back that's still in the backfield and put him on an out route to the wide side then we want to take the backside solo receiver and put him on a street. Now right after you snap the ball look to the wide side and we want to high low the flat defender. If he stays shallow or bites down on the running back you just want to throw the other running back on the corner route in over his head and you will pick up some really big gains with this route. Then if the flat defender stays back you just want to fire it underneath right away and pick up those easy yards with your running back. Then if you look to the wide side and you see the flat defender is coming down onto the flat route and then the user starts to run with the corner route or they are double flatting that side then we 
you want to look to the tight end on the post who will get super deep in along the opposite sideline for a really big game. Now, if you want to unlock even more for this West Coast offense, you need to check out my website, Scheme Kings. Now, I have an extra 11 videos that can be only found on the site to just take this offense to the next level. And then I also have an in-game play call sheet that you can download to keep you organized and on schedule when you're on the field in the game. Then I'm running my Madden 23 launch sale on the site till August 26, where you can get 50% off of your first month. Or brand new this year, you can do a yearly membership where you can save $45 over the course of the year with this one-time payment. Now, if you want to check out Scheme Kings, I will leave a link for it down in the description below. Then the next evolution of the West Coast happened in the 90s with the Green Bay Packers and Walsh disciple Mike Holmgren. Now, he teamed up with Brett Favre to absolutely start smashing NFL records, and they were also able to win a Super Bowl. But they did move away from split backs to more I-form and single back sets to involve more classic run concepts and get more wide receivers on the field. Now, in this West Coast scheme, I broke down I-form and single back sets, but we are going to focus in on single back doubles north today. Now, our first play will be HB pitch, where we can get our running back out in space. Now, for this play, you want to have your two receiver side to the wide side. Then you want to take the solar receiver and motion him over to make a bunch look. Then you want to just snap the ball and get in behind your blockers and start to rack up yards. This can be a super explosive run if you can get to the outside and if your blockers are able to pin everyone inside. But then if everyone over pursues to stop you on the outside run, you can cut it back and pick up some really nice gains. Next, we have Curl Dragon. This is great at attacking deeper down the field. And once again, we have the two receivers to the wide side. Then we want to motion the solar receiver over to create that bunch look. Then we just want to take the outside receiver on the bunch side and put him on a streak, then block your running back. Now we want to snap this ball before the receiver we motion over comes to a stop. Now we just want to wait till he clears in behind the flat defender and the streak pulls back the deep blue defender. And now you have a great hole that you can just fire in this ball along the sideline. Then if you see they are double flatting the outside or the user leaves the middle to take the deep corner, we have our tight end sitting down over the middle that you can pick up some really easy yards with. Then if the corner route is taken away and the user stays over the middle to take the tight end that is sitting down, then we have this shallower curl that's going to sit down underneath for zone coverage and is a great third option. Then our next play is X option and this is an absolute beast of a play attacking all over the field. Now here, same thing, two receivers to the wide side, but now no motion. Just take the outside receiver and put him on a streak, then take the running back and put him on an out route to the short side of the field. Now first we want to read the linebackers and users over the middle of the field. And if after the snap, they stay shallow and suck down on the hooks, then we have this deep post getting open down the field for huge gains. You'll see the streak on the wide side is going to pull back the deep blue defenders and allow this post to come in right underneath them. You can rack up big yards. Then if the user runs back with the post and the flat defender bites down on the running back, then this tight end hook will be wide open for an easy completion. Then if the deeper stuff isn't there, you can quick throw the running back underneath and let him make a play in space. Or we have the hook on the wide side that will sit down versus zone for easy yards. Then as we moved into the 2000s, the West Coast offense started to change again with Andy Reid at the forefront. Whether he was the coach of the Eagles or the Chiefs, he started to adopt a ton more shotgun looks with more receivers on the field and really tried to push the ball deeper down the field while still staying true to his West Coast roots. Now we broke down two gun sets, gun doubles and tray open offset in this West Coast scheme, but we are going to focus on gun doubles in this video. Now first we have spot smash and this is a great chain moving play. First have the tight end of the short side of the field, then take the outside receiver on the wide side and put him on a streak then motion him in. Now our first read here is the wide side corner route. If the flat defender stays shallow and inside, then this route will get wide open in behind their zone coverage for really consistent big yards. Or you can look to the short side and we have a snag concept. Now this is a great triangle read that puts a horizontal and vertical stretch on the zone defenders. Now if the flat defender bites down to the running back and the user takes the spot route, then you want to pass lead the tight end away from the deep blue defender along the sideline and really just put this where only he can get it. Then if you drop back and the spot route is open over the middle, then you can just quick throw that in underneath and this is really nice on third down. Then if the flat defender stays inside on the spot route, you can throw the running back, swing out of the backfield and let him make a play in the open field. Next we have fade HB wheel and this is a great play to attack deep down the field. Now here we have the tight end to the wide side and we want to put him on a flat route, then take the wide side receiver and put him on a streak. Then on the back side, motion the outside receiver in and put him on a streak. Now first we want to look to the short side and if the flat defender stays shallow and doesn't drop back or turn and run with the wheel, then you can just pass lead this up and away along the sideline. This works especially well against cover two where the deep half will get caught inside and you can rack up huge yards. Then we can look to the wide side and we have the wheel 
from the running back and you will see the tight end is going to pull down the flat defender a ton and he won't turn and run with the running back. Then there will be a huge pocket for the running back in between the flat defender and the deep blue defender and you can fire it in and pick up some huge plays down the field. Then if the flat defender does stay deeper, you can just check it down to the tight end underneath in the flat for a really quick completion. Now this West Coast offense is going to be an amazing option for day one of Madden 23. But no matter what you want to run, I think this is the perfect year to start playing off meta. And if you want to find out exactly why I think this is the year to make the switch, then you need to check out this video right here.